With a rapidly growing population of individuals with substance abuse disorders, the division realizes the importance of educating doctors who will be entering all fields of medicine. We have a prominent role in the School of Medicine or the prominent role in educating medical students, uh, postgraduate trainees, um, and other uh, students from other schools in um, how to treat and take care of patients with substance use disorders. We uh, also train psychiatric residents uh, at various points in their training. All of, all of the residents spend time with us in their first year, um, and we have advanced fellows uh, as well. The division prepares students to work with patients having substance abuse disorders throughout the four years of medical school. The exposure to opioid addiction, addictions in general, um, is surprisingly limited in medical education, um, especially given the scope of the problem. So it's really important for medical students to understand that and, and be on the lookout for that as they become physicians and have their own practices. And we hope to reduce, not only educate them on the drugs and the various states of intoxication and withdrawal and the clinical treatment of those patients, but also to help reduce the stigma that these patients encounter and not only in society but in hospital settings and in clinical settings in general. What's most important to me is showing the students here that it is possible to treat opioid use disorder and it isn't a, it isn't a chronic disease that's full of despair. Uh, you can truly bring life and enjoyment back into an individual's life and it's remarkably rewarding when you're able to demonstrate that to, to students who are still very early in their training. Really trying to help influence, again, not just the medical stuff, which you know, it's pretty easy for the students to learn, but really to have them think about their preconceptions about people with addiction and try and, um, you know, think about that as they're going through their years of learning the basic science, but then when they start working with patients, how to really work with people in a respectful, non-judgmental way rather than, um, you know, often is what happens with these patients. This behaves very much like any other chronic medical condition, and uh, it's important for physicians to understand that and treat it as such, rather than look at it as a problem of choice or a problem of lifestyle or problem of uh, morality and other uh, ways of looking at addiction. The advanced training of fellows by the division develops a desperately needed cadre of medical professionals with expertise in the field of substance abuse. We also have an addiction psychiatry fellowship, um, so our division is very involved with um, training kind of at the different levels of medical training. Our fellows uh, who go through this training will rotate uh, in our medication assisted tra treatment programs uh, and there we have such programs uh, both on the university side as well as at the VA and uh, they train in uh, providing methadone maintenance treatment. They also train in buprenorphine uh, treatment and um, they, uh, you know, uh, opioid antagonist treatment with naltrexone and uh, the long-acting injectable vivitrol. I do a lot of clinical education. Um, so at the drug treatment center, I see patients alongside um, our addiction medicine and addiction psychiatry trainees. Um, we also have psychiatry residents that um, uh, that rotate there as part of their first year rotations. The most important thing for me and the th most important teaching moment is to have my residents and medical students see patients that are doing well, hear them tell their story that, yeah, I was at their, my whole life was just about using drugs, and now see that they're really re-engaged with their families, they're working, they're doing all the things that all of us want to do in life.